of living a life of self-denial, living a life that is contrary to what the world and its ways teaches us. It teaches us to live in comforts, to live for ourselves, to be self selfish, egotistical people. And we know that the church, that Christ came to this earth to teach us the other way around. If you wish to be happy, then live for others. If you wish to love God, then you have to love others. If you wish to live a life of self denial, then take up your cross and follow Christ. And understand that this path has its thorns, this path has its sorrows. And yet Christ gives us the strength, He gives us the virtuous life of long suffering, meekness, humility, love, hope, and faith to be able to carry ourselves throughout this entire life joyfully. And let our struggle be a joyful struggle in Christ. Of course it is difficult because we do love ourselves. Of course it's difficult because we have to deny ourselves. We have to live a life of self-discipline. And that word in this word day and age is very rarely used and misconstrued greatly now because there is nobody that wants to be disciplined. People would say that you can't say no to your child because that would be traumatic and be too difficult for them to understand. And yet the child understands better than we do between the good and evil and when we say yes and when we say no. And so we know that we live this life of self-denial, but let us live it with joy. Let us live it victoriously. Let us derive from it this great pleasure that we have in being with the best Christians in carrying our cross, being covered with scars and scorn, and yet we can still be joyous, we can still be victorious. This is the essence of an Orthodox life. And let us pray and never forget to pray to God that we can pass on this love, pass on this joy, pass on this victorious life in Christ to our children and to each and every person that we ever speak to or we meet. Because this is the point of Christianity. Because love is not contained within our own hearts. Because if we love, then we love everyone and we love all. Because if we love God, then we love our neighbors. And what can be greater in this life is to have that in our hearts. To be full of this kind of divine love. That we can overcome all the hardships all the difficulties and live a life of Christian self-denial. Amen.